It's 6.30 in the morning, minus 10 degrees Celsius. A convoy of avalanche researchers and journalists heads out from the winter sport village of Anzer in Valais. Around one meter of fresh snow has fallen in the last few days. At 1,700 meters, the group reaches a lookout point where they can have a clear view on the avalanche dynamics test site, where the simulation is going to take place. François Dufour, of the Institute for Snow and Avalanche Research, SLF, is in charge. Checkpoints report to him via radio whether tourists are in the danger zone. An experiment on this scale hasn't taken place since 2012. What we are investigating here are very large avalanches. That's what we are interested in. We are not interested in avalanches falling a mere 200 meters. We are looking into the ones that go for miles. We also need to have nice weather so that we can clearly film what's going on. It's not easy having all these conditions in place. Before the blast is set off, a helicopter, equipped with a laser, records the snowpack to measure how much snow will be swept away with the avalanche. As the moment of the blast approaches, tensions rise. Five minutes to the blast. And then at 10.30, 15 kilos of dynamite explodes on the crater Bess at an altitude of 2,700 meters, causing a snowslide. That's it. A beautiful avalanche is coming down. As snow thunders down to the valley, it gathers momentum, reaching speeds of up to 250 kilometers per hour, while cameras and probes on the test site measure every detail of its descent. The experiment has been successful. Now the team can celebrate. We are all satisfied and happy as we were able to measure everything we set out to measure. These results are very important for the future of avalanche dynamics studies. We have been waiting for years to be able to trigger such an avalanche. For us, it's a pleasure to see it and to know that this avalanche didn't cause any accidents. The experiment has provided important data that will improve avalanche modeling and ultimately contribute to the protection of the public.